My name is Dee. Last year, or 2020, March 2020, uh, we started receiving all kinds of notifications that there was a virus and that we needed to stay home. And it just felt like the walls were closing in. The Everything felt dark and everything felt um, isolated. I began reaching out to people to talk, to try to figure out if if everyone else was feeling this way. It was how do you survive this and how do you get through it? Something happened one day where I thought, why not, why not talk to God about this? Why not say, hey, I'm feeling alone. What do I do? What do I do? And you know, you look back on these moments and you realize God was talking to you in that moment. A very close family member of mine arrived um, and was suffering from pretty serious addiction. She had two little kids. The family member needed to go get themselves cleaned up. They asked for help. And so here I am with two little kids. And when you have little kids at home, they go to bed at 7, 7.30 at night. So I started getting on uh, the mobile device and I started looking at testimonies from folks who had been sober and had gotten sober. And I was looking for support in that moment um, for myself, my family member, and the children. One day, I scrolled to the next video, a pastor who was preaching Christian testimony, and he was, he was ministering. And the message that he had in that video, in that moment, oh, it resonated with me. And I was like, you are here, Jesus. You are here for all of us. And I shared that video with uh, my family member who was still hospitalized at the time and a couple of other family members. And I said, check out this message, check out this message. And the more I started listening and the more that um, I just let Jesus into my heart, the better and better things felt. I believe that <laughs> even though I had denied God many years before because I was mad, because I didn't think that I deserved the love of Jesus, I believe that he was there with me for that whole time. And I believe that he just needed to get that message to me. And maybe, <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but maybe he absolutely shut down the world so that I could be isolated for a moment, so I could have that peace, so I could have that quiet, and I could hear the message that God loves me, God created me for a reason, that I have purpose. I'm happy to be walking with Jesus in my life. I'm happy to be hearing the messages and I'm looking forward to the next steps, whatever the next steps are.